How's it gonna sound? Let's take a look. So here's just a quick cursory look at how it was packed. There was no padding at all inside there, just the box. This little bit of stuff here in the foam that's on the outside. And then the plastic, uh, this foam here. So hopefully it's been treated well. The box does seem to be pretty sturdy. Just thought I would show you that that is the way that it comes to you packed. You're not gonna get a whole lot of protection via the mail carrier with that, but can't wait to look at it here. So I've not even played a note on it yet, folks. All I did was pull the plastic off the P90 pickups and the pit guard. It had some little plastic on there, of course. You can see over here by the fruit thing. That's why I pulled the plastic off. It does come with a Beatles pick. That's cool and a very thin little cord and your truss rod adjustment stuff. I'm not gonna uh, make this a super lengthy thing. Just a quick look over. As you see, it's beautiful, really. I love this. Uh, it's like a metal, actually raised metal. Nice little plate over the truss rod thing. It looks like mother of pearl. Again, it's probably some sort of plastic. I don't know. Fretboard looks great. The wood, it said on the Amazon that some sort of printed wood, but I don't see any kind of print in it. It looks, it, it's, it also went to their website. And it says it's something called Sapel or a Sapalia, S-A-P-E-L-E -E something, which I did some looking on uh, Wikipedia about that kind of wood. It's, uh, it's sort of a mahogany, it's, a, it's in the mahogany family, so it's a type of mahogany that's it's generally grown in Africa. So they may have exported their wood or imported their wood to where Korea, I'm pretty sure, is where these are made. It says, since uh, 1989, never heard of grape before uh, last year when I bought one. I have since gifted it to my first cousin. So my other grape, he did not have a, a, a semi hollow. He helped me out big time on a video project. And I asked him if he'd like to have one because I have four or five semi hollows. I did want to try another grow because I was so impressed with the other one. And I did want one with P90s in it because I've never had one with a P90 pickup. I don't know the quality of these, but we're going to check them out. But let me flip it over here and let's look at it. So on the back side again, it just looks like a beautiful finish. And folks, it feels like there's a wood grain in there. Uh, again, it's supposed to be sapel, S-A-P-E-L, but then the, the neck is supposed to be maple. I'm looking to see, it looks like there's just a little bit of roughness right in here. I can feel that. It does say, it says made in China here, made in China. Grote, uh, here is my serial number, 192019-0288. Okay, they said something about Korea on the website. So maybe I think the electronics might've been made in Korea, the pickups and the, Switching and stuff, but just looking around, pretty sweet guitar for, I think this was $189. Again, just a quick, quick look at every angle that I can see. I see the wood grain down in the hole there. Boy, this feels smooth as silk. That feels about like what I would expect. The tuners, you know, just look like the kind of, kind of plain old tuners that you get with a grope guitar. I was able to get mine to stay in tune. My other one stayed in tune just fine though. It was a matter of just, just tightening down the little screws on the end here to make sure they grabbed enough. And uh, that, that, again, that fretboard looks like, I'll, be, I'll tell you this, it really, the, the, uh, the uh, frets really feel nice. I'm feeling no edges. That might change after a period of time after an adjustment. The nut looks good. It's supposed to be supposedly a bone nut. I don't know, is it plastic? See, it was bone on the uh, website. That is pretty sweet. So the other uh, one I had, it, the issue, one of the issues was the pickups sat so high that they touched the strings and I had to drop them down in there. It doesn't look like that's the situation with this one. Let me try a uh, hit and a lick on it, see how it sounds, see if it's in tune. No, not at all. <laughs> that's okay though. And we'll find out about the intonation when I do my little sound test here. Friends, I will say I do not have this mic'd up in any special way. I just got it going into my uh, GTX 100 and I've got it on like a Fender Twin sound. And uh, this is the neck pickup. In between uh, both pickups. Sounds great.
Let's go down to the bridge pickup. I'm just playing some bar chords. Really just trying to see is the nut too high. The neck feels fantastic. Go back up to that neck pickup again. I will say this, whoever did the intonation and setup did a fine job. I mean, if we, listen. As I checked it with my uh, poly tin, the only ones that were slightly flat at the 12th fret or the E and 8, I mean, just slightly. So I may go in and do just a tiny bit of adjustment back here. String height is fantastic. Very reasonable string height. I'm not sure what kind of strings it has on it, but they feel really nice. The neck, it, it feels smooth. The fret work is polished really well. Gee whiz, I gotta say, I'm just digging it a lot. Nice little, uh, uh, too radical. This neck pickup's what I dig.
máquina. Okay, just first impressions. I'll do a more thorough review of this thing later. I don't see a flaw in it anywhere. Uh, you know, the workmanship is is about what I would expect. It's actually no, actually it's way better than I would expect. Um, it's just pretty. It's a pretty thing. It sounds really great. Uh, it plays really well. It's better than the previous one that I bought. It's thirty dollars more. The other one I think was one fifty nine. This one was one eighty nine. $30 must mean a lot in China because it, it really seems to be a better guitar and I totally love that other guitar too. Set neck and it all looks really well done. These P90s, um, are they the best sounding ones I've ever played? Well, I know, but... Now listen to that, man. That's deep. For a nice P90 single coil. That's pretty rich. Particularly like it in the neck position. I mean, I'm in the bridge now. That's pretty funky in the bridge in the middle. I should raise them or lower them or anything. I, I kind of like just where they're sitting right there now, honestly. It's just immediately a very comfortable, easy to play guitar. My fingers are turning a little uh, dark, so it must be maybe not the highest quality strings, but they're not bad still. Bridge is nice, tunematic type deal. Just everything I like about a semi hollow is here on this guitar. Um, made in China, again, supposedly Korean uh, parts and. African wood, <laughs> or at least, like I say, it said printed. I, I was expecting like a, a, a grain to be printed onto it. It doesn't look like that. It really looks like wood. It looks like real wood. Sounds like it. Actually kind of lively, nice tone. Let's turn the volume down. Let's see how it sounds like uh, acoustically. Well, I know I'm, using, I'm just using an iPhone microphone here, but. Good enough to practice. I'm digging it. More to come on this guitar. Uh, the Grote with P90s. And this one is in the Sunburst finish. There are different finishes. You could get a green, I think a red, a black maybe, or a gray looking. To me, that just looked classic right there. Right pretty finish, in my opinion. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.